Hello, hello. Welcome to Roar Restore Ministries, where we talk about the reconciliation, restoration, and resurrection power of Yeshua. Family, I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to be a vessel used by God to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Family, I'm here to deliver an encouraging word from the Lord to you all as we are in this time of ER. And ER, it's the Hebrew month um, that we are in. It ends on May the 20th, and this time represents a time of transitioning. It also represents um, connecting. Your most important connection is with you and our Heavenly Father. And I'm here to deliver a word to those of you who you have remained connected to our Heavenly Father. That through trials and tribulations, through the weight, through it all, you have remained connected to Him. Your most important connection is now bringing you into a time of being divinely connected with Destiny Helpers. Being divinely connected with that one that the Lord has said he's going to restore back into your life. For many of you, this speaks of your marriage being restored. And you being restored back to that one that has strayed away from the Father. They strayed away from you. But the Lord is bringing a return and they are going to be divinely connected to you once again. It could be between um, a relationship with a, a family member that once again, y'all are going to be divinely connected and together walking in one accord, acknowledging that truly he is the Lord, our God. For others, this is a time because again, and I, I must emphasize, this is not a tickle me feel good word that I just want everybody to receive and, and give a like and give some accolades. That's, that's not what this is for, okay? I know that I'm speaking to the remnant and my duty is to help draw others unto the Father, okay? Many of you, you want to hear what you are wanting to hear, but you are not really connected to the Father because you are more interested what is in His hand than actually seeking His face. I do not speak that out of judgment, but I have been saying in this YouTube ministry channel for quite some time that deep is calling unto deep, and He is calling us all back to our first love, which is Him. Many of you, you are claiming that that one that has strayed away from you is your first love. Well, God is a God of order, and I'm here to tell you today that if that's where you are and if that is your uh, position, it is time to get your house in order. It is time to get your spiritual house in order, and it is time for you to hunger and thirst more for God than some spouse, to hunger and thirst more for God than some relationship, any relationship upon earth. So for the remnant who you are connected to the Father and who have been seeking his uh, face and as many times as the enemy has tried to attack your faith um, and to get you to give up on God, to get you to give up on life, you have remained in the race. You have continued to fight the good fight of faith as your faith has been in God, as your faith has been in Yeshua. Okay, so I'm here to talk to those of you, those of you who you are not there. This is a word that um, will bring a, a, a love conviction because again, um, I want you to have what you want and God wants you to have what it is that you want the desire of your heart but he must be your number one want you must want him more than you want that thing you must want him more than you want that relationship are you hearing me and so for the rest of you the Lord has spoken to you who your kingdom spouse is or that this is the season that you are going to be divinely connected uh, to them. This is your time and this time of transitioning and representing also uh, connecting because you've been connected to the Father, okay, that now you are ready to actually connect with your kingdom spouse. So I'm speaking of uh, first-time marriages here, and just perhaps maybe it is your second-time marriage because the first time um, it, it was not of, of God, Okay, that's a whole nother message. I don't want to get too much into that. Ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you, okay, and to ask you 
um, what it is that you are needing to know. But that was a word I know for somebody. Okay, so we are in this time of transitioning. Last month, according to the Hebrew calendar, it was the time of Nisan. Okay, that was the time in which uh, the Israelites was uh, brought out of Egypt. Now, the Lord is wanting to speak to those of you who you are interceding for a loved one, and this loved one is a prodigal of his. This loved one has strayed away from the Father. This loved one has been living in disobedience and outside of God's will. Okay, the month of Nisan was a time that um, many of them began their deliverance out of Egypt. Glory, hallelujah. And I know that in this time of ER that we are now in, that I've been getting many reports from many of you who you have been hearing from that loved one. Okay, they have either emailed you, they have showed up at your house, um, they have uh, texted you, they have called you. I've been seeing a lot of this during this time of ER. That is because they were being delivered from Egypt, okay? The Lord is bringing your loved ones, okay? Many of you, again, you begin to see the signs, the wonders, and the miracles. Others of you, you will. So again, just, just stay with me because the Hebrew calendar is very prophetic. So the uh, month of Nisan represents a time of deliverance, being delivered from bondage, being delivered from captivity, being delivered um, from sin, being delivered from the powers of darkness, and then ER represents a time of transition transitioning well in the month of er when the israelites were delivered out of egypt they then went into a wilderness period and um, they knew god but they really didn't know a whole lot about god and this was the time that they began to learn a whole lot about god now for many of you it has been in this time that truly you are beginning to discover more of who god is you knew about God in Nisan. You knew about God in the days and the months even before Nisan. But it has been in this time of ER that you are really beginning to understand who God is. All of who God is. And truly, He is the I Am. So whatever it is that um, you have in need of, He is your I Am. Glory, hallelujah. So many of you in this time, you beginning, you've, been, you've been drawing closer to Him. You've been hearing from him more. His voice has been getting louder and louder um, in your ears. And then for the prodigals, those that you are interceding for, I believe that many of them have made their way out of Egypt. Others are coming because the Lord has really been emphasizing the prophetic dream that he had given me where I was sitting in um, a car and it was just pitch black in front of me and I knew that there was a mountain. It just, all, all the blackness just flowed together, but I knew that there was a mountain and a mountain re represents um, an obstacle. And I was prophesying um, for God's people to, to come out. And there was someone in the vehicle with me. Really, it was just a demonic spirit. I never looked, so I couldn't tell you anything what they look like because I was too busy um, staying focused and prophesying. And demanding that the captives be set free, that they come out from the dominion of darkness. And that voice tried to talk me out of it and tell me I should just give up, that they're not going to come out. But I refused to listen um, to the voice of the enemy. And I continued to prophesy. And then I began to see these ones come out from the dominion of darkness. I began to see them come out from a uh, captivity one by one men women i began to see them coming out and the lord has made it very clear in this uh, year of 5783 this uh, year of gamel that it was a year of repentance and that it was a year in which his people would witness uh, his resurrection power and his restoration power so truly, I mean, God is just, he's being very consistent and he's been very uh, strategic in setting you all up for such a time as this. Well, what time is this? Well, again, we are now in the month of ER, which represents transitioning. You, the remnant, are preparing to transition into the promised land, to transition into the fulfillment of that promise. Because that promise that the promise uh, maker made to you has been in the process of fulfillment. It in itself has been in a time of transitioning, okay? And so you are getting ready to step into a time where you are going to see um, God manifest himself. You are going to see, many are going to see 
um, God manifests himself in the land of the living. And they are going to see, you are going to see through signs, wonders, and miracles. Glory, hallelujah. Well, on the 20th, um, we end the month of ER. And then on the 21st, we represent, we, we enter into the month of Savan, and Savan means uh, season, time. The Lord has continually been speaking the words, um, it's time. He's been speaking this a lot to, I know, a sister in Christ of mine, just telling her over and over again, it's time. It's time. Well, as I've been talking with her and those words have continued uh, to come forth, um, they have just become very strong in my spirit. Well, then when I realized that we are getting ready to enter the month of Savan, then I thought, well, this is very interesting. And it certainly is no coincidence that the Lord is emphasizing, highlighting the word time. We right now are in a divinely precise timing of the Lord. And I am telling you, family, you are getting ready to transition. And I'm going to um, release a word of, uh, of a warning. This is a warning to some of you, because as you are in this time of transitioning, preparing to transition into the promised land, to transition into the fulfillment of that uh, promise, be careful, be on alert, be on guard, okay? Watch out for the giants that just tried to pop out from the woodwork, okay? Trying to once again, in one last attempt, um, get your faith, your hope, and your confidence, trying to get you discouraged, trying to get you into uh, bitterness, trying to get you to just throw your hands up and say, you are done. You are done waiting on God. You are done waiting on them. Family, I just really feel this is a word that carries a strong warning because if you do not heed to this word and if you throw your hands up, you're going to go back instead of forward, okay? You're not going to enter into that promised land. You're not going to enter into um, the fulfillment of that promise because your immaturity, because your uh, lack of faith, because of your bitterness, um, because of your frustration, it sets you back a step. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. Okay. The Lord does not want you to go around that mountain again, okay? He says you have been at glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to post. There's a scripture that's coming to me, but I'm hearing the Lord say you have been at this mountain long enough, okay? So do not uh, stay there. You have got to continue going forward. You have got to continue walking in the footsteps of faith, knowing that your faith is leading you to his faithfulness in which you see the promise maker Keep that promise that he made to you. Glory, hallelujah. So in the um, the uh, description below, I'm going to post the scripture um, that I'm hearing. And I believe it, it is perhaps out of Deuteronomy. But I know that the Lord is saying, you've been at this mountain long enough. So you need to pass this test. You need to keep for going forward. You need to continue to uh, get better and do not go back into bitterness. The enemy, again, is trying to bring a last attempt to get some of you into bitterness, to get some of you to throw your hands up and say, you are done. Family, do not do it. I'm going to tell you that when God made that promise to you, that promise went into a process of fulfillment. That promise has been in a time of transitioning that itself is also transitioning into a, the fulfillment in the land of the living. So the enemy is trying to talk you out of your stand. The enemy is trying to talk you out of standing and fighting for your marriage. Come on. I know. I know he's talking to somebody. Okay, he tried to use that divorce that the judge, okay, in that courtroom, in the land of the living, um, granted that which some earthly judge decreed. The enemy tried to get you and some of you, you got moved by it and you threw your hands up and you said you are done. So instead of fighting for your marriage, fighting for your spouse, okay, fighting for your family, you went over yonder and just started dating again. You just gave up. Come on, get out of that and get back into an 11 position, okay? An 11 represents transitioning. Come on, I know the Holy Spirit is talking to somebody and family, I 
I know I know that the Lord has been speaking to many of you with the number 11. You've been seeing the number 11. You've been seeing 11, 11. Okay, he's been speaking to you. Why? Why, why is this captivating you? Why are you drawn to these numbers? Because he's telling you that you are transitioning, okay? And for the remnant, you have been transitioning well. You have continued to grow more in him. You have continued to remain hungry and thirsty for him, okay? You have put him, the blesser, above the blessing. You have put him, the promise maker, above that promise, okay? You have kept him first. Glory, hallelujah. So he has been very faithful in keeping you in this position so that you don't go backwards. Because according to Daniel 7, 25 through 27, the enemy has been trying to alter the season. Okay, again, we are getting ready to step into the month of Savan. And Savan means season and it means time. Come on, the Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody. You better take this warning, okay? And for the rest of you, you should be shouting right now. You should be uh, singing hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Father God, because you are that close. And that is why the enemy has been fighting many of you okay he has been trying again in one last attempt to get you to throw your hands up to get you discouraged to get you wore out so that you don't hope anymore come on family get your hope up a notch today because i'm telling you it is right in front of you the very thing hallelujah thank you holy spirit the very thing that the enemy has been trying to keep from you okay that he has been trying uh with everything that is within him and all him is a little little powers in hell that he has uh, within him to stop the fulfillment of this promise the Lord says it is right in front of you you are that close family so come on he says again that you are transitioning into it glory hallelujah and family on May the 21st is the beginning of the month of Savan. I'm telling you, many, many of you are going to come back and in the name of Yeshua, glory, hallelujah, you are going to testify of signs, wonders, and miracles. Okay, you are going to testify about your breakthrough. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. He, the breaker, is going forth, okay, and your breakthrough is coming. You are transitioning into the breakthrough. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. So come on, family, for the remnant it, you need to give a, a praise shout right now because it is right in front of you. And for some of you, you're just right there. And again, I've got to say it like I'm hearing it. This is a warning, okay? This is not the time to retreat. This is the time to stand firm and to stand your ground. Do not go backwards. Do not throw your hands up and do not go create some plan B or plan C, okay? Come on now. Let God's plan A prevail in your life and it will if you stay the course. Glory, hallelujah. Family, I pray that this word um, encourages you all. I have been feeling very strongly this time of transitioning, and you are right there. The Lord says you are right there, okay? Your day and your hour is coming. Glory, hallelujah. There he goes again. Exodus 14, 13, 14. Your day and your hour is coming that you are going to see the salvation of the Lord. You are going to see the salvation of Yeshua in your marriage. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to see the salvation of Yeshua within your family. Glory. Hallelujah. And the enemies that you have seen in the past and that are even still trying to come against you today because they are just trying to stop you because they know they can't stop the promise maker. They know they can't stop the plans and the purposes of God. But if they can stop you, okay, then they've got their way. But these enemies that have been coming against you, you are about to see no more in the name of Yeshua. Glory, hallelujah. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith, and I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.